My name's Todd Penn. I'm 44 years old. I lost both of my legs. Uh, I, went, I went to the hospital July 24th. I called off work, went to the hospital. Um, both of my feet were hurting really bad. Um, ended up being, I had a uh, vascular disease is what it ended up being, which can be hereditary. Um, but yeah, I had a, a career driving semi, pulling triples for EPS making good money uh, I had everything I, I wanted uh, I've got my daughter uh, she's 11 years old Candace um, I thought I, I thought I had everything I didn't think I could uh, ever have this happen to me um, I lost my right leg below the knee um, after having my upper bypass on my right leg uh, my foot wasn't getting blood so they made me wait like 10 days uh, before having my left bypass. And it was then that they cut my right leg off because my two of my toes were dead. My ankle was all a mess. My top part of my foot, he said he was going to have to amputate it. And I asked him, you know, why not do it now while you're doing my left upper bypass? That way I can heal and be done. So I thought, um, he did it. Um, I went home. After I was refused, uh, I was refused physical therapy. My doctor fought it. My surgeon, my insurance company just wouldn't do it. Uh, so I went home. I had, didn't have anybody coming to the house cleaning my wound, nothing. Um, and I got infected. So I went back to the hospital. And that infection led into my left leg through the incision I had getting infected on the left leg after my right leg was infected. So that's why I lost my left leg above the knee. And yes, I'm driving right now. I, uh, I've got my legs a couple weeks ago. I'm waiting to start physical therapy next Monday. If I even do uh, with this coronavirus, I, I'll probably cancel it. But uh, I drive using my right leg that I got. It's not much harder than it was driving with two, two legs. Um, so I drive around. I started doing this, I don't know, about three weeks ago, maybe. And uh, it makes it so much better for me because I can crawl up my truck, get my chair out of the way, and I can be places. I have to have help getting out where I'm showing up at places. I can't get out of my truck without somebody getting my wheelchair out of the back. But my truck also has a six-inch lift, so I'm going to have to take care of that, lower it back down to stock or lower but I just want to make this video because I know there's a lot of people that are sitting in the hospital right now uh, in the shoes, you know, where, where I was at, hurting really bad, wondering what's, what's going to happen to you. How's it going to be, you know? Uh, I was doing the same thing, watching videos of people showing how they started walking and, and things like that. I saw a guy that had an accident with some farming equipment. And... Uh, and he had several videos actually and showed how he lost his leg and how he lived his life and that that kind of stuff was important to me because I it just let me see how things are once you start healing up uh, even though you can't walk and going through the process of getting his legs and walking and I really liked it it gave me hope it made me feel like I had a chance and there were also a lot of other videos they, they were just you know low quality uh, some people might think they're dumb but when you're in our shoes uh, they're not because they give you hope. They give you something to look forward to being positive. I mean, that's all I did was watch YouTube videos. I'm not doing this to make money because I know you have to make lots of videos and have all kinds of people liking your stuff and subscribing it to make money. I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing this just to uh, help people out that are in my situation uh, and wonder what it's like in, the, in between learning how to walk, living my day-to-day -day life, being positive like I am. A lot of people say I inspire them uh, because I'm so positive I'm not going to let this ruin my life um, there's other ways money's not everything and there's other ways that I can eventually make money once I'm walking and get back on my feet literally but I just want to make this video for the people that are sitting in the hospitals and feel like your life is over it's ruined it's not it's 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 far from ruined um, what you're going through right now really sucks it's the hardest part of what you're going through other than the part I'm about to start and learn how to walk using my legs, uh, but it's it's not the end of the world. It's not something to let you ruin your life. It's really not.
there's uh, so many other things uh, in life to do. So, but that is why I'm making this video. And uh, you can see I've got like 15 other videos I just posted that you know I've made the last month, and I posted on my Facebook. You can look me up on there if you want. It's just under Todd Penn. Send me a friend request uh, if you want to see some of my stuff from the past. But yeah, that's uh, what I'm doing. I've, uh, I've got like 15 small videos, nothing crazy. Uh, nothing that's gone viral or anything. I don't expect to. I just, you know, it's YouTube, the way it is to, to do this kind of stuff, to post your videos, it's so easy. You don't have to have money to do it. So to share my story, my journey, however you want to put it, uh, that's why I'm doing it, that's, that's just how I'm doing it, uh, I'm really nervous about actually, uh, learning how to walk because standing on my legs now when I get up and I have the poles to, to hold on to to walk, I can do it, it hurts, and I hurt for a couple days after real bad, but, um, I understand how to do it, it's just the fact that I can't get in my head that eventually I'll be able to do this without it hurting. Um, that's where I'm at. That's kind of the thing that messes with my head. But I know I'll do it. There's no, I'm, no doubt I'll do it. But until you do, you always wonder. I hope I don't have to have any more surgeries. I've heard people talking about, you know, they've had to wait a year, two years, three years before they can start walking because they had to have surgeries because of nerves that were bothering them. Bone issues. Um, I do have a bone issue on my right below the knee. I have a bone that sticks up at the end of my stump that rubs against my prosthetic. It really bothers me. Uh, I feel like I have rug burn after wearing a few hours just driving around. But um, I'm looking forward to next Monday. I hope they don't cancel it because of this uh, stuff going on in this crazy world we live in. Um, and it is something to be serious about. I, I do get that. But there's so many people that are just so negative and post stuff they don't even know what they're talking about. Uh, complain about, oh my God, my business shut down. And then when you hear that their business might still be able to work due to, you know, the way the law is and their business, whatever it is. And when you ask them that, because you see, you know, they might be able to still have their business open and uh, other people are posting that they can. And when you you ask them, they're like, oh, no, uh, it'll be, if not anyway, tomorrow, nobody will be able to, um, you know, you're not too concerned about going to work then, keeping your business going, uh, and that same person might be the same person that goes to a store full of food that finds an empty shelf and wants to post pictures on Facebook, like, oh, my God, empty shelves, when the store's full of food, it's all that kind of stuff that just irks the shit out of me. My daughter, I've gotten to spend a lot of time with her this week, not having school. It's kind of nice. She's been over since Sunday. I just took her ride to her stable and dropped her off at her house. But yes, so if you're interested in seeing my day-to-day -day life and things I do, like when I lower my truck and when I make a video showing a six-inch lift down to six inches in the back and four in the front, I'm lowering it because I want to lower it lower. That way it's easier for me to get in. Uh, it's videos like that that I'm going to be doing here soon, I hope. And, uh, look me up on Facebook if you want. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit like. Whatever, you know. <laughs> you don't want to, don't. But, um, if you'd like to see more videos of, uh, me learning to walk and getting to that next level in life to where I can try to be like I was before uh, keep watching uh, I'm going to keep posting them I don't have anything to do so why not uh, I know there was something else I was going to say my mind's blank right now but anyway peace <laughs>